Just five months after his father Willie Garson passed away, his only son Nathan Garson paid tribute to his father on what would have been his 58th birthday. Garson adopted Nathan when he was just seven years old back in 2009, with the 21-year-old honoring his father on Sunday. The Sex and the City star passed away on September 21 after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. Nathan shared an undated throwback snap of him with his father, adding, Happy birthday Papa! Miss you tons and love you! Garson returned to reprise his role as Stanford Blatch in the Sex and the City sequel and just like that, though he only appeared in three episodes before falling ill. Creator Michael Patrick King recently revealed he had a much different plan for the character and he was slated to appear in all ten episodes. The show ultimately dealt with his death by having Stanford abruptly divorce his husband Anthony, Mario Gantoni, and move to Tokyo to manage a TikTok star. He was in all ten episodes. Before I knew that Willie was sick and couldn't complete it, Stanford was going to have a midlife crisis, King revealed. Stanford was always a talent manager on the original series and the movies, but King admitted he always had a borderline career as a manager, and we were like going to explore the fact that it wasn't a real career. It was going to be Carrie and him, feeling the shifts. Anthony and him were probably going to have split anyway, he said of Stanford's marriage to Anthony. He added that they would keep both Carrie and Stanford in and, everybody would be relieved that they were divorced because it was not pleasant for anybody. But there was a series of really fun, flirty, hilarious confidant scenes with Carrie that I loved. That old, old very specific chemistry that Carrie and Stanford have, which is based totally on the uniqueness of Willie and Sarah Jessica's history, King added. He added that real death is not funny or cute, so he didn't want to even flirt narratively with cute business about where he is. I knew the audience would never invest in it, because they knew he was never coming back. It's the most threadbare writing I've ever done just to move him along without much maneuvering, because it was just so sad. There was no way I could write myself out of that in any charming, cute way, King admitted. Garson also recently starred in the 2021 movie Before I Go and also lent his voice to the animated series Big Mouth.